I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. And those pages. Revelia. What is all this? There's Jackdaw, looking dead as ever. What happened here? My here it is. The map that brought your doom, oh. Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Here we go. I forgot we even knew that spell. Um, that's better than that. Sentio needs to be close range. Oof, you look big. Nope. Just move out of the way. Accio doesn't work. Nope, just Expelliarmus. This doesn't do much. Oh, I don't need that. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. It's like my one hit kill and I need to be better about using it. Move. Move. Shit. Oh no, I lost it! Magic symbol. Oh, that's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before in Gringos and the restricted section. Where am I? How did Peeves? I guess Peeves could be a source of ancient magic. <sighs> Starting to flood. what? How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? It's another test to make sure the right people end up this far. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. I was trying to figure out how the heck Peeves could have ripped the pages out what of an ancient place? magic book. But him it, he himself may be a form of ancient magic. Where are we?
can it be? Hi. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have it. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Yeah, why is this called the map chamber? I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Okay. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. We expected someone to make it. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic is unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizardy level. You have new talent points to spend. No shit. <laughs> Ooh. Starting at level five, you may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase combat power, stealth, and more. Talent points may only be spent once and you can't reset them. Or improve your overall effectiveness. Improve your spell casting. 16 talent points available. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Oh, that's cool. To swap to an unlocked spell set. Oh, so you can just... Okay. You can set more triangles rather than setting... Interesting. Do I want to do that? Awaken Weld heals you to greater effect. That would be nice. Can I have that, please? Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Ooh. Now would I use that? Because I do press the dodge button. <laughs> Successful Protego blocks will continue... Will contribute to the ancient magic meter. Yes. Basic cast impacts reduce spell cooldowns. Blocking a spell with perfect Protego will send two projectiles back at enemies. Yes, please. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the magic meter. Increases the range of Revelio. I don't want to do. Successfully evading an unblockable attack contributes to the ancient magic meter. Everything's going to contribute to the ancient magic meter. Enemies struck with Stupefy remain stunned for a longer period of time. Another new spell set. So you can just make a whole bunch of spell sets and then rather than swapping, you swap those spell sets. Oh, 
what are these? Oh, I can't even... Oh, I can. Ooh, nice. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. So that's core. What's these? Casting Incendio. Ooh. A ring of flame around you. Still would be short range. Enemies near a target summoned are also pulled toward you. I don't know that I want all of them pulled toward me. Then they all start attacking me. Although you could do that and then incendio. That would be nice. Enemies. I feel like I should do this. You don't have Defendo. Okay, so we don't have these other spells. I think I want to save some of this stuff. Expelliarmus has the same effect as a curse. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Stupefy has the same effect of a curse. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. That's how that works. Cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Hmm. That's tempting. Stealth? Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment. Eh. We don't have the rumors requirement yet, but Eteris Potion, which I haven't used. For each chomping cabbage thrown, a second chomping oh cabbage is generated at no cost. I like the chomping cabbages, they're nice. I'm gonna grab this one. And I'm gonna go here into curses. I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna grab that. Man, we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Vivelia. Wait, what's... That's the way we came in? Okay. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I don't know, it's important. On another adventure, are we? Yeah. Lucky to have a flu flame there. Oh. Are we in Hogwarts? Oh my god. Oh, my brain. <laughs> I'm back at Hogwarts. Yep. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract not, myself with till he returns. With it's not Accio anymore. Accio. Maybe I should make spell slots. Revelio. Locked. And we can't get back in here, even though I know what to do with that. Okay. You need to learn to pulso the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay. Revelia. I still can't figure out what that dialogue is. Hey, 
Alright, I have no idea what goals I have. Any unopened outpost? No, okay. Flying class? <gasps> oh, we're... Mm. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Eteris potion. And use them simultaneously, okay? We might need to do flying class next. You know, let me do... Let me open one of these. I might as well try it, see if I like it, and then... Hold R2 and tap to swap an unlocked spell set. Okay, so I can make sets. Cool. So, I want you here. I want you here. That's fine. And then maybe Lumos? Okay. See the usefulness of these. And you just swap spell sets and say the heck with it. Alright. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna learn flying. I think we're gonna learn flying. Fly class. Is this direction. It's in a some direction, and I will find it. Oh! We have hoops! Flying class probably shouldn't be in the middle of the night. Are you playing hacky sack? Well, you're playing. Yeah, you are! Except the hacky sacks don't bounce. He's playing something. Who's ready for flying? I am! Oh, begin quest. <laughs> for some reason I was like, I'm gonna go talk to people. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Who's talking? Oh, there are people behind me. Mr. Clopton, your attention please. <laughs> Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Do first, do fifth years have flying uh class? This seems like thank you. Not something. Oh, your turn. She said oh. thank you to the oh, broom. you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Since I'm in a skirt... If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring yep, in the there we courtyard. Go. <laughs> Do take care. 
Okay. The brooms are school uh. property. I want them returned in one piece. Wait, how do I go faster? This is brilliant. Wish I had my own broom. Everyone said these controls were really hard to get a hang of. That makes sense to me. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? What am I doing? This oh, set of rings hold R2 will take you around faster. the ground for more of a challenge. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! Brilliant! Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I'm sure that was something. Okay, so hold on. Okay, that moves the camera. Okay, I see why people had problems with this, because now I'm having... I was like, this is fine. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so up and down are the left trigger? Whoa, our aquatic and resident likes to make an appearance oh. once in a while. <gasps> okay. Yep. I see why people had problems with this. They don't left right turn very well on the left stick. That's strange. That is strange. Oh, made it. Did anyone else see that? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, they are a little wonky. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Yeah. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to... Can I change flying settings? Because I don't understand why the directions aren't all on one stick. That seems weird. Invert flight controls? Would that help? Probably not. I could try it. I usually fly inverted. Let's try it, see if that helps. That's probably just gonna screw me up, though. Follow closely now. Right oh, now, yep, 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 yep. Screw me up, screw me up. Lovely as ever. Ah! They already are inverted. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Can't enter while mounted. You won't let me go where I need to go. What the hell? I just want to fly under the thing! That's dumb! Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Hold L2. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, there's a rainbow! That's Kagawa's whistle. It concludes our tour. <laughs> Let's hurry back. I've already explored those areas, Everett, but thanks. Oh, 
in hand in our brooms. She just left us out there? Oh wait, how do I dismount here? Wait! I don't know how. There we go. <laughs> And where have you two been? Not far. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. So are these people who need remedial As broom frying? You, you do well Lessons? to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Hmm. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. Oh. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I have a lot of money. Can I, like, give If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spin Twitches, I'd be on it now! Greetings. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. I wish I could afford my own broom. Instead of using my brother's hand. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, <gasps> meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Oh, Sebastian! I know a discreet place near there. I do get nervous Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. Who the hell are you? Might be interested. Please visit oh. me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh my god. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as oh. soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. This is a room of requirement. Spintwitches is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I have. Not that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest model. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I think. Oh God! So much has happened. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! She has a bubble over her head. Madam Kugawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Hufflepuff should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Okay. Now... As much as I want to do Sebastian's quest, we should, uh, we should figure this out. Like, right now. There's so much stuff I need to do and everything, everything's happening all at once. Oh! Cloak! Cloak problems! There we go. Whoa! Dear Madam Kagawa, marvelous news you'll be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohana Harbor, but one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please don't hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. What? Dear Madam Kagawa, I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream. I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or Professor Weasley? I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor Imelda Ross. Okay. 
Level two lock. My gear slots are full! Well, now I have to go... Now I have to go to Hogsmeade. Alright. I guess that's where we're going then. Um, let's get out of here. Oh! They set that back up quickly. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh! It's a snake thing. What did he said I helped him afford another instrument? Thank you. You're welcome. So tipping you does something? This instrument's pretty darn cool. Wow, he's got some stuff in. Golden silk robe. Oh, that looks very Hufflepuffy. It's got birds on it, but it's yellow. That might match my paisley hat. Hmm. What's gonna look cool with this robe? The purple really doesn't mesh well. Alright, this is what we're walking around in. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but this is what we're walking around in. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I I don't I think my look is very eclectic. No. But I'm in a pretty damn awesome cloak and a pretty damn awesome hat, and I will just accept it for now. <laughs> um He said we needed to find a shop in Hogsmeade. That sold brooms? Sonkos. Oh, the butterflies, excuse me. Something in the three broomsticks. Okay. How do I zoom? What's this? After completing. Oh, here we go. After completing my broom flight, Everett mentioned checking in here. So we can go in there first. Oh, there's stuff over here. Demanding delivery. Oh, the guy that wants us to deliver stuff for him. Alright, I guess we're doing that. All of those. Except I want I want this first. I just clicked on them to uh, accept them. But that's first. That is first. So much is happening right now. I saw what you did! Whoa, what happened? Them back. And what back, sir? Well, we've not took a thing. Oh! And them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, <sighs> that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, sir. Honest, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. Have I been in here? Yes, I have. The venue. I'm sorry. I I just want to excuse me. Bye. In here? Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. You got anything? Ooh. Don't mind me, do you? Revenia. Oh, here it is. Split Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable LV Weeks, the shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alvy himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Mm -hmm. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. 
And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Disrupted trade routes made you close? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. What else can you tell me about these brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay. Have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? So, yeah. So these are all cosmetic, I've been told. The Ember Dash broom. That item is of the highest oh, quality. Wow. Hogwarts House broom. <gasps> Excuse me! It's got a badger on it. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, I love that one too. The Wind Wisp broom. That item is of the highest quality. Okay, do I want the house broom? You'll be thrilled with that broom. I'm, I promise I'm buying you. both of them. Just. Mm, I'll just buy one. Can I sell you? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. Okay. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, mm. Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? All right. Uh, tell me about yourself. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers maneuver the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. His sweater has snitches on it. Why me? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. <laughs> I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. You took uh, Madame Kagawa's class? Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. 
Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Go to the Quidditch pitch. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay. So I have I to go to admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. All right. 